Okay. Thank you, everyone. So I would like you all to have a good look at this .css logo if you haven't already, because what I'm going to do in the next four minutes is recreate this logo in only CSS. What I mean by only CSS is this is the only markup I'm going to use, one div with one class, and all the styling will happen inside the class. So let's get started. First of all, I will just draw the canvas. I will just add some dimensions and a background color. Then I need to add the big yellow dot of the done conferences. For that, I will use a before pseudo element defining some dimensions, a background color, and a border radius so it's actually a circle. Then I will absolutely position it where I need it. Now that I have this initial shape, I would like to take a few moments to talk about box shadows like we did earlier. Box shadows are really nice. You can, as in CSS, as soon as you have an element, you can define a box shadow to it. And you can, there's a trick with it, because if you specify the shadow to have a size of zero, you will actually get an exact duplicate of the original shape. You can still change the color, change the positioning, and change the size. But more importantly, you can define as many box shadows as you want on one single element. It means that with some SAS looping like this, I was able to draw lines and lines of black dots that are all box shadows of the original big yellow one. Some of them were actually colored in yellow to form a game of life, but it was just a matter of adding a few conditions inside my loop. So I now have the background. I still need to add the text on top of it. I could have gone the easy way and reused the before pseudo element to put the dot word in it and use an after pseudo element to put the CSS, style them with some different font size, color, and everything, and use a line 8 equal to the 8 of the dot to vertically align them, but that would have been too easy, right? And I wanted to show you a few of the tricks. So get ready, because the next line is going to be more complex. I decided to not use the after at all and put everything inside the before. So what I'm doing is actually writing .css in the content of the before, but I'm using the, the, the special character, or is that a glyph? I don't remember. Special character backslash a to actually add a new line. And by adding white space spray, it will be displayed as two different lines, meaning I will have two words on two different lines, and I can target each word individually using the first line pseudo selector. First line will target the dot, and I will style it exactly like it was styled on the slide before. But now I have my CSS that is displayed on the second line, and this is the one you're seeing as a light blue color. But the trick I'm using, I'm using here is to actually use what I call invisible ink, so I'm going to display it with color transparent and apply a text shadow to it. Because I can apply the same tricks to text shadow that, that I can do on box shadows, meaning if the shadow size is equal to zero, I can uh, have an exact duplicate of the original text, change the color, and change the positioning. So the white CSS you're seeing is actually the shadow of an invisible text. And that's it. We have the .css logo with only one div, full CSS, and in under four minutes. Thank you very much.